Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. So did you know there are a bunch of very popular mobile titles, for example Genshin Impact and Diablo Immortal, which do not have native ARM macOS releases. However, these applications which work great on iPad and iPhone can actually be forced to run on Apple Silicon Macs because they share the same architecture. So in steps PlayCover, which is a sideloading utility which is going to allow us to run these mobile applications on Mac desktops. And PlayCover has just released its 2.0 version, which brings with it a whole bunch of new fixes and features. And one of the most notable features is the ability to set a custom resolution and aspect ratio and to rely probably unlock 120 hertz frame rates for games that support it. So today what we're going to do is to show you how to install PlayCover and to get it working with popular games like Genshin Impact. Some of the steps have changed in the last few months so this is going to be the most up-to-date tutorial. I'm also going to demonstrate some of the new features like 120 frames per second and the ability to choose a custom aspect ratio. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first thing we're going to do is to visit the playcover.io website which I'll leave a link to in the description and then what we're going to do is to download PlayCover. So go to the top right hand side here and click the download button. This is going to take us to the release page and if we scroll down we're going to find the asset section and if we expand this we can download playcover 2.0.0.dmg. So this is the latest version at the time of recording. If you're watching this in the future you might have a more recent version and so you should download that one instead. So next we're going to go to finder and then we're going to open up our downloads folder and then double click on playcover 2.0.0 and once playcover is open we're going to go ahead and drag and drop this application into the applications folder here. Then we're going to go back to Finder, open up our applications folder, scroll down until we find PlayCover. Then we're going to double click on PlayCover. Here it's saying that PlayCover is an app downloaded from the internet. Are we sure we want to open it? Press open. Here it's asking us if we want to check for updates automatically, click check automatically. So when you run it for the first time and you don't have Xcode command line tools installed, then PlayCover is going to prompt for you to install this. Just press the install button. Then you need to type in your administrator password and then it's going to go ahead and download and install Xcode command line tools. This will take about five to 10 minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection. So now I'm going to go ahead and download and install Genshin Impact as an example app. You're going to need a decrypted IPA. So you can visit a website like decrypt.day and then do a search for the word Genshin, press return, and then you're going to find various versions of Genshin Impact, for example, the Western version and also the international versions as well. Here we're going to click on the English version. And here we have the ability to download various versions that have been uploaded by users. Here, for example, we can download 3.3.0, which is the latest at the time of recording. Just click the download button to move on to the next step. So once our decrypted IPA of Genshin Impact has finished downloading, what we can do is to press the plus button here and then select our IPA and press open and then it's going to install into our library. Alternatively, within the IPA library, we can add decrypt.day or other similar websites as a source. So for example, if you type this URL, I'll leave a link to this in the description. We can now press OK and it'll be added as a source. And then lots of apps can be downloaded directly through the decrypt.day website. If I do a search for the word Genshin, then we're going to be able to download this directly through here. Just double click and it's going to start its download process. So Genshin Impact is now installed and we're ready to launch it. However, we shouldn't double click on this right away. What we need to do first is to shut down the Mac and disable system integrity protection. This is just a temporary measure so that we can actually log into the game. Otherwise, it won't let us log in correctly. So what I'm going to do is to go to the Apple logo here and then click the shutdown button and then shut down the computer. So now that the Mac has shut down, what we're going to do is to hold down the power button in order to enter the recovery menu. So on MacBooks, the power button is on the top right hand side of the keyboard or if you're using a Mac mini or a Mac Studio or an iMac, then you want to hold down the power button on the back of the machine. So here we're going to hold down the power button of this MacBook Pro and we're going to wait until the screen turns on. And it says here, continue holding for startup options. We're going to wait until it says loading startup options and then we can let go of our finger. And now we have our partition selection screen. We're going to navigate to the options section here and then click continue. So I've gone to the recovery menu here. And what I'm going to do is to select my main volume, which should be Macintosh HD, press next, then select any administrator account. Then we're going to enter our password, press continue. And now we're on the main recovery menu. We're going to ignore this main menu here. We're going to click on the utility section here and then open up the terminal window. So within the terminal window, we're going to type in the command CSR util disable. This is going to disable system integrity protection. Now we're going to press return. We're going to select our main partition. And here it's asking us if we're sure we want to modify system integrity protection. Press Y and then press return. So before we do this, just be aware that disabling system integrity protection might open up your Mac to malware. This is a risk to your computer. However, we're only disabling 
disabling this temporarily. So hopefully you won't run into any issues. So I'm now gonna press Y and return. And now I'm gonna type in my username, which is the macOS username. This is the same username that popped up earlier in the recovery process. Here you're gonna press return. Now I'm gonna type in my password. So when you type in your password into terminal, there are gonna be no stars that appear. So you won't know that you've typed something in. It's gonna be blank. However, if you type in your password correctly and then press return, then this is gonna authorize the system integrity protection process. So you can see here, I've typed in the password. It's just gonna take a few moments for this to fully authorize. So that took about 30 seconds. Now it's saying that system integrity protection has been turned off. We can now restart the machine for this to take effect. So here I'm gonna press the restart button and then let the computer restart. Now I'm gonna log into our computer. So now that we've logged in again and disabled system integrity protection, another thing that you need to do for Genshin Impact is you need to modify the NVRAM boot arguments. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the play cover documentation where you can go ahead and copy and paste this command, which you're gonna need for the next step. So select this and control click and copy. And then we're gonna to go to the top right hand side and then type in the word terminal, press return. And then once terminal is open, we're gonna control click on the blank space and press paste. And then we're gonna modify our boot arguments, type in a password, and then that's complete. And now we're going to restart our Mac once again. So just click on the Apple logo here and then click restart. So now that restarted the Mac again, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Play Cover application. And we're gonna double click on Genshin Impact to load it up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and enter my Hoyoverse email address and password and then press the login button. And then here we're going to complete the capture and then we're gonna to agree to all of the terms of service and privacy policy notices. So at this stage it's really important that you do not tap to begin or click on anything on the main screen. This is because if you try to start the game while system integrity protection is turned off, then it won't let you log in and you're gonna to have to repeat several processes, it gets very boring. What you should do is to press the command Q button that's gonna quit out of the game. Now we can move on to the next step. So now we're gonna click on the Apple logo again and I'm gonna press the shutdown button and now we're gonna enable system integrity protection once again. So from a cold shutdown, we're gonna hold down the power button Continue holding for startup options. And now it says loading startup options, we can let go. So then we're gonna go again back to options, press continue. Now the MacBook is going back into the recovery menu again. We're gonna select Macintosh HD and press next. Then we're gonna log into our account. And then back here, we're gonna go back to utilities and then terminal. Now we're gonna type in the system integrity protection command, CSR util enable. So enable instead of disable. Now we're gonna press return. We're gonna select our Macintosh HD. So here it's saying turning on system integrity protection allows increased security. Yes or no, press Y and then press return. We're gonna type it in our username, press return, and then the password once again. Just like before, you won't see any stars appear on screen, but as long as you type in your password correctly, then it's gonna recognize it. Press return. So that took about 30 seconds. Now we're ready to restart the machine. We're gonna click on the Apple logo and then restart. So now that we've logged in again, we're gonna go ahead and double click on Genshin Impact. And now because system integrity protection is turned on, we're now safe to tap to begin. If you ever have any issue with mouse control, then what you can do is to press the control and option key, and that's going to free up your mouse from the bounded window. So once we've done that, we can click tap to begin. And because we've got system integrity protection turned on, it's gonna allow us to actually log in properly. So now it's downloading nearly 15 gigabytes of data. So just let that complete before we can move on to the next step. So we've now successfully logged into the game and it's all working as normal. So you can use some of the touchscreen elements with your mouse. And you can also power up a controller. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna be using my PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. What I'm gonna do is to put this into pairing mode. So hold down the share button and then the home button as well until the lights start flashing like that. And once that's flashing, that means it's gone into pairing mode. On macOS side, I'm gonna to go to system settings. Then we're gonna to go to Bluetooth. And then we're gonna see that nearby devices here, we have the DualSense wireless controller. Press the connect button. And then this is gonna go ahead and pair up. So this flashing blue light is gonna turn solid like this. And this means that it's now connected up. So within the game, now what you can do is click on the options menu here, and then you can go to the cog. And then what we can do is change the control type from touchscreen to controller. What it means now is that we can now play this game fully with a controller. So that's all fully working. All the bindings are all working correctly, just as if you are playing this on an iOS device and you had a controller paired up with your iPhone or iPad. However, if we really wanna take advantage of play cover, then what we're gonna do is show you how to import key bindings and also how to change the graphics settings as well. So what we're gonna do is to shut this down and we're gonna tweak some of these settings here. If you hold down the control key and click on Genshin Impact, we have the ability to import key mappings. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So I'll leave a link in the description for the key maps play cover github page and if i go into this key mapping folder here what we can do is see various key mappings that have already been created for various games so for example here we've got genshin impact diablo immortal minecraft so what i'm going to do is to select genshin impact the western version and then we have various key maps listed here so in order to download a key map it's pretty straightforward what we're gonna do is to select a key map. So I'm gonna be using the PC control key map, which I've been finding very good so far. Click on this, 
and then we have the code here. So what I'm going to do is to click on the raw button and that's going to give us the raw file of the actual key mapping. We're going to control click on this blank space then click save as and by default it wants to save as a text file but we want to retain the dot play map extension. So just go ahead and delete the dot text and we're going to save this in our downloads folder. Here it's asking us are we sure we want to use dot play map? Yes we are. So now if we go to our downloads folder you'll see that the PC controls dot play map file is there and basically if we go into play cover now control click on Genshin Impact and click import key mapping then we can click on pc controls play map and then press open and it's saying here that the key mapping has it been imported so one thing about key mapping is that it is specific to the aspect ratio of your display so the app by default is in 16 by 9 but you might want to set this to 16 by 10 so what i'm going to do is to teach you how to change the graphics settings so here we're going to control click on Genshin impact within play cover and then go to settings and then here we've got some of the new features of Play Cover 2.0. So the main one we're looking at is this graphic setting here. We have the ability here to change our user agent. So we can switch between say an iPhone or an iPad and that's gonna unlock some key settings. For example, the ability to run at 120 Hertz. So here, for example, I'm gonna select iPad Pro with the M2. And then with my aspect ratio, I'm gonna select 16 by 10. And with my resolution, I'm gonna put this at 4K. Then if I go to the miscellaneous tab, what I'm also gonna do is to enable the metal HUD. That's gonna allow us to see the frame rate counter on the top right hand side and also if I go to key mapping you can see here that we can change the mouse sensitivity as well so once we're happy with all of these settings we're going to press ok and we're going to test out the new graphic settings with the key mapping as well so if for whatever reason your key mapping isn't quite working out for you for example the WSD keys on the github page don't quite work correctly then what you can do is to use the other community forum I'll close down Genshin Impact and then we're going to load up this discord and if you go to the play cover discord which I'm going to leave a link to in the description you can go to the key mapping section here and you can find other key mappings that other people have created for example I'm going to be using this one created by Alex this is a key mapping where the WSD keys allow you to glide full speed so I'm going to leave a link to this discord message in the description we're going to download Genshin Impact fix.playmap and within Genshin Impact we'll control click and then click import key mapping and use the fix key mapping that we've just downloaded key mappings imported we'll double click and here we can see that the WSD keys are now working correctly. The key binding means that this WSD button is a lot bigger than normal. And this is all working far better than it did before. So as you can see, the gameplay looks very sharp and smooth, especially with the keyboard and mouse bindings. It almost plays like a native Mac version of the game. My MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip and 32 GPU cores is managing to hit between the 90 to 120 frames per second range. So the frame rate that you're gonna get on your Mac is really gonna depend on the speed of your computer and how many GPU cores you have, and also which setting you decide to use as well. This is running on medium. And of course, you don't necessarily want a game at 4K, but we're just demonstrating that this is very well optimized. After all, this is the iPad OS version of the game that's been fully optimized for mobile Apple Silicon. And it's no wonder that this is gonna work fantastically on Apple Silicon Macs as well. So it's a shame that there's no actual Mac port of Genshin Impact or similar mobile titles, as it's clearly very possible to play these games on Apple Silicon Macs, and the internals barely even go over 65 degrees Celsius running at 4K. Anyway, big thanks to the team at Playcover who have really improved this application ever since it became open source. So I know there are plenty of other games as well that can be siloed using Playcover, for example, Diablo Immortal, Minecraft, etc. Make sure to check out this application. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.